In today's lesson, we will be multiplying binomials, which we have done before using either the box method or the FOIL method, but we're going to look at some special cases. And in today's lesson, technically you can do all of the problems using FOIL or using the box method, but I want you to learn the special patterns that you will see instead of FOIL in the box method, because this will help you later when we're working backwards and we are factoring the trinomials. So before we get started, just a quick reminder, we will be working with perfect squares. So here are a list of a bunch of the perfect squares. So these numbers you should be very familiar with. Most of them should be memorized. And let's just remember one squared is one, two squared is four, you know, we've got 5 squared is 25, 9 squared 81, and so on. Alright, so here is the first example of a perfect square um, binomial. So I definitely want you to write these steps down because this is where you're going to really learn the pattern. But to start out, if you have a plus b squared, common mistake is when students distribute the exponent to say, well, that equals a squared plus b squared. That is not true. Don't even write that down. Not true. Because really, what does it mean when something is squared? Like, if you have 2 squared, it means 2 times 2. So if you have a plus b squared, it means that you have a plus b a plus b times another a plus b. So, and then if we have two binomials that we're multiplying, we can FOIL. So let's look at what happens after we FOIL. a times a is a squared. And then our outside terms, a times b, a, b. b times a is a, b. And then b times b is b squared. Add your middle terms, we have 2ab. So I want you to make sure you definitely have this written down so that we can refer to it. So in today's lesson, you can definitely get an answer by doing FOIL, but I want you to practice getting your answer by knowing this pattern right here. All right, so here's our first example. We have the binomial x plus 7 squared. So, to start out, let's think about what does it mean x plus 7 squared. Anytime you have something squared, you're multiplying it by itself. So what that means is x plus 7 times itself x plus 7. So let's first solve this by FOIL and then relate it back to this pattern right here. So if, we're, if we were to FOIL this, x times x is x squared, x times 7 is 7x, 7 times x is 7x, and then 7 times 7 is 49. So combine like terms, x squared plus 14x plus 49. So there is your answer that we got just by foiling. But let's think about how we could have gotten this without even foiling just by looking at this pattern. So the pattern is you just take your first term, a or x, and square it. We got x squared. And then for the last term, you just take your second term in your binomial, 7, and you square it to get 49. And then this 2ab means that you multiply your two terms together, and then the 2 means you double it. So 7 times x, double it, is 14x. Okay, so in this example, the binomial 5y plus 1 is being squared. Let's see if we can, this time, get the answer using the pattern and then we can check it by foiling. So let's think. a squared means they're taking the first term and squaring it. So I'm taking this first term and squaring it. 
So 5y squared turns into 25y squared. And then to get their last term, they take the second term in their binomial and they square it. 1 squared is 1. So that's my first and my last term. Now this middle term, a times b, so they just multiply the two terms together and then double it. So 5y times 1 is 5y and then double it to get 10y. So that is using this pattern instead of the FOIL method. So let's real quick check using FOIL. It would be 5y plus 1 times 5y plus 1 First, 25y squared, outside, plus 5y, inside, plus 5y, and last, 1 times 1 is 1, and when you add your terms, you would get 10y, which is what we got by following the pattern. Okay, so let's use the pattern one more time. Um, the pattern says take your first term and square it. So take t and square it, t squared. Um, multiply your two terms together and double it. 6 times t is 6t, and then double it is 12t. And then take your second term and square it. 6 squared is 36. And that is it. All right, so here is the second form of a perfect square binomial and really the only difference is in the original we have a subtraction sign instead of an addition sign but the process is the same so a minus b squared when you square a binomial it means you have the binomial twice and if we were to foil this we would get a times a is a squared a times negative b would be negative a b negative b times a is negative a b and then a negative b times a negative b is a positive b squared. And you combine these terms, be negative 2ab. So the pattern is the exact same as what we just did, except we have a subtraction sign here. But just make sure that the last one is still an addition sign. Okay, so here are three examples. And I'm going to solve them all, simplify them all using the pattern but do so remember that you can always get all your answers by writing it out twice and using foil I just want you to learn the pattern because when we work things backwards that pattern knowing it and understanding it is going to be very helpful all right so pattern says take your first term in your binomial and square it so x squared and then you need to multiply a times b together and then you're going to double it so negative 4 times x is negative 4x and then double it so negative 8x and then take the second term and square it and that would be think of it as like a negative 4 times a negative 4 which would be back to a positive and that is 16 alright so the second example square the first term 9x and when you square it make sure you square the 9 and the x so it's 81x squared to get your second term multiply these together and double it 9 times negative 8 is negative 72 and negative 72 doubled is negative 144x and then square your second term, negative 8 squared is a positive 64. All right, and last one of this form. Let's see if we can do this real quick. Mental math. Square your first term, x squared. Multiply together and double it, which would be negative 14x. Square the last term, plus 49. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, so here is our last special case. We call this the difference of squares because the result, you end up getting a, the difference of two perfect squares. All right, so it starts out with a binomial times almost itself. So it looks the exact same except 
one will have addition and one is subtraction. So if we were to FOIL this, a times a is a squared, a times negative b is negative ab, b times a is a positive ab, and then b times negative b, positive times a negative, is a negative b squared. The middle terms end up being opposites and they cancel out, and you're left with a squared minus b squared. All right, so here are three examples. Let's do one of them using the FOIL method, and then the other two, let's use the pattern. So if we were to FOIL this first example, x times x is x squared outside, negative 8x inside, a positive 8x, and then last, 8 times a negative 8 is a negative 64, middle terms cancel, and you're left with x squared minus 64. So if you use the pattern, so anytime you have, so two binomials that are the exact same except one has addition and one has subtraction, same thing here, they look the same except one has addition, one has subtraction, your answer will look like this, a squared minus b squared. So all you have to do, square the first term, so 2x when you square it ends up being 4x squared, square your second term, 3 is 9, and it will always be subtraction because a positive times a negative will always give you the negative. So in this last one, square your first term, x squared, square your second term, 25, x squared minus 25. So another very simple question, just remember you can always get the answer using FOIL, but it's very important to learn the patterns and have them memorized. So there's your full lesson. Good luck.